A medical breakthrough just got the go-ahead. The nation's first HIV-positive to HIV-positive organ donation will take place at Johns Hopkins University. The now Zan McNamara explains how this historic change frees up more organs for everyone. The wait to get to the operating table can be excruciating. Hundreds of thousands of Americans are in line for new organs. Many die before getting the help they so desperately need. Can you imagine for six years waiting for that phone to ring? Dr. Phil Gothier is the medical director of transplants at Porter Adventist Hospital. He says the approval of HIV positive to HIV positive organ donation is long overdue. But now that patients are living so much longer with these great new medications, they're getting kidney failure for the same reasons that the rest of the population do, including old age, diabetes, high blood pressure, things like that. Studies estimate up to 600 HIV positive people would donate their organs every year, saving more than a thousand lives. And while the benefits are obvious for HIV positive patients, doctors say others waiting on organ donation lists will benefit too. It will also help non HIV patients because we'll be using more kidneys in general so the other kidneys can be used for the non-HIV patients and their waiting times will go down as well. It's not clear when the first HIV positive to HIV positive transplant will actually happen. But now that doctors have the okay, they can work to find organs and recipients that match. And now that we can also use HIV positive organ donors, it's only going to take off even more. For the now, I'm in McNamara. Until the HOPE Act passed in 2013, doctors could not use HIV-positive organs to help HIV patients. The National Institutes of Health spent a few years creating safeguards before giving Johns Hopkins the go-ahead.